Hi guys. I'm going to share with you a video we took last night around dusk. We were moving our bees from a swarm trap where we caught them into their hive. But first I want to give you a little bit of backstory. We are completely new to beekeeping and that's really Eric's thing. I'm more into the goats and chickens and stuff, but he's getting into beekeeping. And a couple of years ago we saw a presentation by Dr. Leo Sharashkin at the Mother Earth News Fair in Topeka, Kansas, where he talked about building your own swarm traps and catching your own bees. And he had plans for the traps, plans for the hives, which you'll see in the video, they look a little bit different than the traditional stackable hives. They're horizontal hives. And I'm actually gonna put a link to his website in the description here, and you can go and check it out and see what you think about it. And like I said, this is our very first foray into beekeeping, so, be kind in the comments. The smoker went out. This thing is just awkward. Did you burn yourself? Only slightly. Don't burn yourself. That's the way it's supposed to smoke. Alright. Why can't they make work gloves this dexterous? I don't know. Yeah, they're always loose. And... Oh. Either the left glove is smaller than the right one or my left hand is bigger. Your left hand's probably bigger. Your left hand, you probably have more muscles in it. Did they cross build? Shouldn't you hang that rather than just just to be sure? This is not promising. Well, you know they're in there. They did cross bill. Can I see? Before you anger them. It's oh. a tiny swarm. Okay, but they're in there. They're in there. It's a start. It's not a good start, but it's a start. <laughs> it's really okay. I interesting. Can get all three of these frames in one go, though. Slightly angered now because part of their hive fell off. What will that? What will happen? What will they do? They'll just be pissed off. They'll rebuild it. Yeah, they'll rebuild it. Yikes! You're worried about me getting stung and you're getting over here close with no protection here. You gotta quit that. 
I'm not messing with them. I'm just looking. They built onto the side of the trap? Yeah. What do you do about that? That I scrape off. And sweep the bees into the main hive here. What do you do with it when you scrape it off? Do you just put it in there? No, I, that just will be considered trash. You mean we get to play with it? Yes. So, my thing against cross building that I've read is leave a gap between the frames. And when I put this up there, all the frames slid together, so that's why they cross built. And that's what I was worried about. So, I'm going to have to fix those to where the frames keep their gap. And my nose itches like insanely bad. <laughs> and I can't touch it. Yeah, but I think the only time I'm really going to need to wear the protective suit is when. And you don't get those others down in there before you pull these frames? Now how are they going to get down in there? They came out through this gap. I'm talking about those over there. Oh, yeah, those I need to actually, I forgot I need to sweep those in there. Do you want me to hand you your brush, or you got it? I got it. All right, kids, come on out. See, their instinct is to crawl up, so that's why they're trying to go back in there. Let go of the brush. And this one's mad at the brush, he's stinging. Come on. This is not how I imagined my first foray into beekeeping was going to go. How did you imagine? Well, I was hoping that they would go... Peacefully? Peacefully. Uh, well, due to my inept handling method. That was the queen right there. Really? Yeah, I just put brush the queen down she in there. Went. Hopefully. <clears throat> I she was see. she's bigger than all the rest, you tell her. Well, I'm going to have to bleep that out if I make a video, a YouTube video of that. <laughs> Part of it is because
Yeah, so we caught a tiny swarm. Will, will they grow? Will they, the swarm grow? We may have, we need to get some honey to feed them. There's still one up there up top. Have any of them flown off? Well, you'll open the door, right, after this, and yeah. then hopefully they won't leave. Well, their whole hive is Right now, they are working. So I'm trying right now to pull these frames apart and force them to build this way. But right now they're did I get them all? I think yeah, so. Yeah, they're all there. That's really interesting. Cool. That's some fresh hive right there, baby. So I'm going to make gaps in these because... See, this is what I've read, is if you don't have some foundation for them to start on, they'll just build however they feel like it. But they build... You saw the piece like that. Yeah. They started this one diagonally, and you see how this one's coming out diagonally. Yeah. So they were, they do that. They just, they build in a line. I but get, I had to get a shot of your cool stand you made here out of the bed frame. Yeah, it's kind of. Do well together. Not great, but. I think it's pretty awesome. And I should have gotten a picture of where the trap was hanging. Well, you can always and look up there in the tree. And say, yeah. The I should have recorded you bringing it down. Anyway, it was up there at the top of that ladder on the branch. And we put it up there a couple of weeks ago. And after three days, there were bees in it already. We have done it. Yes. And as you can tell, they're not Africanized. Yeah, because we're not running for three miles. Well, I wouldn't have to run because I'm wearing the awesome suit. You would be the one running. <laughs> yeah, and I'm wearing a dress, so they'd probably go right up my skirt and I'd be arrested for stripping out here in front of everybody. I wasn't too worried about getting stung. I well, see, thought that's what the smoke does. It causes them to focus on one thing. Yeah. Well, I figured if I got stung, it would probably just detract from my bruised. If you got stung. My bruised hand there. If you got stung, you would have to. Run. You know, they release a pheromone when they sting. The pheromone, which is, I think they call it the rage pheromone. And it pisses off all the other bees, and the other bees come for you. Stop cussing. I don't have to cut all this out. <laughs> all right. Okay. I need this to... concludes our moving of the bees. I need to take this trap.